A very warm welcome to the viewers of Views and Opinions here on Hill Media Africa. It's Oguna Kiyomotola here again and today we are looking at the opportunities and challenges of a new led government administration which is the Bola Ametinubu's led administration. After the rancor and the outcome of the just completed presidential elections which took place on the 25th of February 2023, the 29th of May 2023 saw the swearing in of the 16th president of Nigeria. We bring you the yearnings and expectations of the citizens as we journey into a new dispensation of a new democratic government. Don't forget to like this video, share and also subscribe to be part of this growing progress. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. While we wait for the tribunal to draw their final conclusion on the election petition, um, my hope on the new government is to change the country, change Bergs and so many sectors. Let them not be too um, political. They should include people that know what they are doing. Actually, um, the president, um, the current president, as he's selecting his cabinet, let him consider people that know what they are doing. So the country has really, really faced um, a challenging period lately. And honestly, if the new government will bring about the change and what we deserve as a country, the betterment and improvement we all need, then it's okay. I wish the government would actually do the work they said they would do because as Nigerians we've been really facing challenges from the start. Like all the government come, they promise stuff and they don't do and just the circle keeps going. So if the new government is actually going to do what they say they will do, implement the change and all that is needed, then because I believe God um, allowed everything to happen. My hopes and expectations for the new government is that they should make things better. They should make Nigeria a country that it should be. Because Nigeria is meant to be like topping rank among, amongst like one of the best developed countries. So they should make Nigeria what it should be. They should make it comfortable for the citizens, make the education system better. In a society where there is no security, inflation is on high side, the salary they pay workers is just like using for to pay transport. How can you, a short distance of where you pay 50 naira before, it's now 300 naira, 400 naira. How can somebody cope? And workers may, they, they might demand for higher pay and the government cannot do anything about it. It's, it's their right. We are not interested in changing government that cannot bring in positive things in life for people. In fact, we are disappointed. All this we are seeing now is not like Nigeria we expect to be this time around because what I saw when I was small. I thought by, by this time we were talking about we our height would be like the, the height of America and Europe in terms of development. But Nigeria is 1,000 kilometers backward. I would like the government to improve on the aspect of building our roads, um, schools, and other facilities that help our society. They should reduce corruption because the main things that are happening in Nigeria now, some the main, some of the problems we have in Nigeria now is corruption. The issue of insecurity is just is is touching every crony. In fact, all parts of the country is bleeding. So the present administration should be so fast and uh, very with every resources available to act to make sure that uh, this issue of insecurity, the high level is being curbed. Okay, and bring normalcy back to uh, the society. Let us try and unite this country. You must sacrifice. Keep away all those issues that have to do with ego and all the rest of them. If you really want to unite this uh, country. And uniting the country, you must ensure there is justice, there is equality, there is equitable distribution of resources in this country. Especially when you are giving out political appointments and all the rest of them in terms of try and make sure there's an inclusive government. Make sure you are running an inclusive government. That's the only way you will ensure that you are doing what you are bringing people uh, uh, closer again. Then the issue of agitation in the southeast. That has to be addressed too. 
do everything humanly possible. They come to the house as well as survivors and make sure that the, the normalcy is being brought back in that part of the country. And the simple thing to do there to let the people know that you are really in for peace uh, with the, the people from that uh, uh, southeast is at least this their leader that uh, the Mazin Namdekano just allow the young man to be release him and talk to his people and just show that uh, concern about some of the things they are agitating for and I strongly believe that normalcy will return in that part of the country welcome back when a new government is constituted it is very natural for uncertainties and lofty expectations to occur we sincerely hope that despite the power tussles and the political preferences that the well-being of the citizens of nigeria is paramount to this new government as we firmly stand for the progress peace and equity of the most populous nation in africa let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, share and also subscribe to be part of this growing progress. And as always, I remain a good Till next week, stay blessed.